Even the best can get caught out on times when you're coming down to EV charging. Quick story, I looked on the app for GridServe. We're at GridServe uh, location in Birch Services on the M62 and we're eastbound. And when I looked, I saw 17 out of 17 available. So I thought, we haven't filmed here. We've been filming here for three years and it was never finished. So we thought, finally it's finished. The app says there's 17 available. We need to come here, we need to do some filming. And we've arrived and what do we find? Uh, nothing. Now, when we looked a little bit closer, when I looked a little bit closer, if you expand the screen on the app, you suddenly find that although we'd selected eastbound grid serve, it was actually showing the westbound, which does have 17 chargers. They're over the other side of the motorway. Just out of interest, those 17 are absolutely deserted. However, it is bank holiday, we're gonna get caught out with traffic, but we're gonna give you a real, real money-saving tip now. I'm Dave, this is Dave Takes It On. Now, a lot of people, hopefully won't, but a lot of people could be caught out by this. They check on the app, it looks like there's 17 bays available here, looks like eastbound, it says eastbound, but the logo uh, actually shows the westbound one. It's a little bit, you'd think if you selected eastbound, they would show, put the eastbound one on top. A Little bit of a note for grid serve, maybe have a look at that in your app. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is have a look, because if you come here and you can't charge, uh, a lot of people will think this is a wasted opportunity. Uh, what are you going to do? All you've got is 50 kilowatts on this side of the motorway. And that 50 kilowatts is shared. Uh, these are dual bay chargers, so they will give you 20, 25 kilowatts each, each side if there are two cars plugged in. And there's also a Chadamo here, that'll be 50 kilowatts as well. So why are we talking about these? Well, when we arrived, there was a Kia, um, a Kia Nero charging here. Uh, it had about a 30 or 40% state of charge of the battery and plugged in here, it was actually getting 30 kilowatts. That's it. Now at 30 kilowatts, let's just put that into perspective. The average UK EV battery is about 50 kilowatts. They never go totally empty. So effectively about 40 kilowatts is what we drive around with. So if you were to plug into one of these 50 kilowatts, you could get pretty much up to a full battery uh, within an hour. Now, who wants to spend an hour here? Well, they give you two hours. So they expect some people to, and at busy times, it's a bank holiday weekend. Uh, you might be queuing for the typical McDonald's or Burger King or Costa, whatever it is. But if you stop for a break, let's say you've got a family or a dog or a pet or something, you could easily be here for an hour, simple as that. And in an hour, you could get 30 or 40 kilowatts out of these, and that tops your battery up. So don't overlook these at all. Particularly if you come and find either the faster ones aren't here, or the faster ones are fully uh, occupied and there's nothing left. A lot of people would just pack up and go. But let's have a look at an alternative. Okay, so here we have one of the original electric highway 50 kilowatt dual bay chargers. In this particular case, uh, we have CCS2. This is for the vast majority of cars who are out there on the road today. And it's two bits. It's the top bit, which is the, the AC, the, the slower, or they call it fast charger, but the slower bit. And then the bottom bit is the DC. So a CCS2 plug uh, is what goes into your CCS2 socket on the car. 90, 95% of all the EVs on the road today have a socket that will take this plug. Uh, for the few who don't, the only other plug that's available is one of these, which is Chadamo. Uh, a lot of people don't have a look at these, but these are uh, Japanese. Uh, dedicated. This is what the whole of Japan uses. Um, people often ridicule these, but they have one advantage that CCS2 doesn't have. These are bi-directional, and we come on to that with other videos with something called V2G, which is vehicle to grid charging. So if your car is bi-directional, it can take or give a charge through one of these. You can actually run your house off your car with Chadamo at the moment something to watch out for. Anyway, 
So when we're here, uh, we filmed, I've got some photographs of uh, Kia Nero here, who was charging. Uh, they were at about 30, 40% state of charge, plugged into the CCS2. They were getting on the screen 30 kilowatts. That's it. Unit is only capable of 50, they were getting 30. Don't know whether this was throttled or the car was throttled, doesn't matter, they were getting 30. Here the price, uh, unless you use the app, the price here is 85 pence. This is horrendous money for a charger, 85 pence. If you download their app, it dropped that back to 79, which is what they used to be. So 79 or 85p is what you're gonna pay here. And this particular car, filmed live, was only getting 30 kilowatts. This is a grid serve fast charger. There's a post here and there are two bays. Uh, there's the uh, connectors here. And the first thing you'll notice is these are not tethered. Tethered simply means that the cable is permanently attached to the charger, unless the cable nicking brigade come and get them first. But these, they don't have that. They have no cables attached to them. So with these, it answers the one question everyone's got, why do I carry spur cables around with me in the boot of my EV? It's to use these, simple as that. All the rapid chargers have got their own cables. Why don't we carry our own cable for the rapid and ultra rapid chargers, a lot of people ask. Um, it's a very different thing. These are amazingly low power, uh, typically 11 kilowatts, maybe 22. Whereas the ultra rapids can be 350, 400, even 480 kilowatts. The cable for that is really quite hefty. And if you do damage it getting in and out, having 500 kilowatts going through a cable that you're plugging in, you don't do it. So it's never gonna happen. Uh, rapids and ultra rapids, they'll always be tethered. Uh, most of the fast chargers, they're not tethered. So you could come here. Now, looking here, this is unusual. Most of the fast ones don't have a contactless payment. And the reason is they need to be operated via an app so that you can pay. Grid serves the exception. Uh, they're also the exception, by the way, with um, pre-authorization pre of credit cards. If you use a credit or debit card, on most of their locations, they only charge one pound pre-authorization. Really, really good news. Anyway, back to here. So you come out here, you park here, uh, no other charges are available, or they're all full, and you're thinking, what a waste, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else. Let's have a look what we've got on offer here. And when we read the, 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 board, the notice on here, it does say output, uh, maximum 32 amps, 22.1 uh, kilowatts. This is capable of providing 22 kilowatts. That one was giving 30 kilowatts. There's not a huge difference. Now, the proviso here, and that is my car, I've got Tesla Model S, cannot take 22 kilowatts on the AC side, the fast charging side. Mine is topped out at 11 kilowatts. So for me, it's a different equation. But a lot of the cars do have up to 22 kilowatts for the fast charging, uh, except for Renault Zoe's, they actually have 43 kilowatts, some of them, so they'd be able to take all this and more. So uh, if your car is one of those capable of taking 22 kilowatts as a AC charge, fast charge, then this one is not a lot slower than the rapid charger there, but there's a huge difference in price. That one, 85p, 79 with an app. This is 49p. Now, 49p, okay, who's gonna stand here for an hour uh, using it? We've already mentioned, it's a motorway services. They give you two hours and some people do actually take two hours. So you've got all sorts of facilities here. You've got your fast food, you've got your, um, your uh, coffee shops, uh, various other shops. Uh, you might just wanna take a break. We can easily spend an hour at a uh, motorway services, uh, whether or not we're charging. So when we're looking at 22 kilowatts, if you left your car plugged into this for one hour, that's in theory 22 kilowatt hours into your battery. And on most EVs today, average EV, that's about half full. So if you arrive here with just a quarter of your battery left and you plug into here for an hour while you go and have a meal, you're gonna come out, your battery's gonna be 60, 70, 80% charged. And that will easily then get you onto the next one because most cars have a range of uh, about 200 mile plus. Um, so don't overlook these. 
49p they are slower you're not going to get a 10 or 15 minute charge here but if you're here anyway for the best part of an hour plug into one of these particularly if everything else is occupied now for those of you thinking about going to a hub or going to a supercharger if you have a choice uh, you need to know the difference we've recently done an in-depth video on this about why hubs are so deserted there'll be a link appearing wherever it appears and there'll also be a link down below in the description check that one out because it does tell you an awful lot about ev charging and what you should know well thanks very much for watching it is bank holiday traffic's building up sun's out we need to be on the road again so thank you very much i'm dave so it seems you like the channel maybe you'd like to support us some more our youtube membership starts at just £1.99 and that will get you access to loyalty badges customer emoji and uh, members only shorts for a little more, you get behind the scenes photo updates, members only videos and member shout out. And our most loyal supporters get member only polls to help shape the channel direction. Also early access to new videos and priority reply to comments. We'll also still be running our Patreon page. Thank you very much, all the existing members, where we post behind the scenes content and have an active community chat. And on the occasions we do channel meetups, we'll be communicating them to our loyal supporters.